Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 42 in the book of Ephesians. And I'm going to start with a little uh, story today. Uh, so imagine you're sitting at Chili's and you're, uh, you've just ordered your appetizers and you're waiting for them to come. And you're sitting by the door and in walks this guy or gal, you can't even tell, because they're wearing a full set of medieval armor with the helmet, with the little flap thing that comes down and a big shield and body armor and leg protection and uh, and even a sword. So you see that this person is both offensively and defensively attired. They are totally ready uh, for for battle. And you see this person, they are going through life in full battle dress. So as you're sitting there waiting for your appetizer to come, uh, you start to think about this this guy or gal. The first thought is that person is absolutely crazy and what is wrong with him and uh, what a retard for going through life in a big suit of armor. But then you just get to thinking, it's like, well, wait a minute, maybe he knows or she knows something that I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong, not with the soldier, but maybe there's something wrong with the rest of us. And maybe I am in a battle or that a big battle is coming um, that I don't know about, that I'm not really aware of now, or maybe one that's, you know, on, on the horizon, on the horizon. So maybe there was a call to like this spiritual DEFCON 4, and I was out of the communication chain. Or maybe I was in the communication chain, but I was inattentive, or I was I was dozing, and maybe I missed a call for readiness. Maybe uh, there's something coming that I'm not ready for and I should have been. Maybe there was this call to armor up that I have not yet heard and I should have. And maybe there was this, this memo that I missed. So today, Lord, give us ears to hear and give us eyes to see. The reason being is this is such a visual a lesson. This is one of the most enduring images in all of Scripture. So as we say, maybe, Lord, if I only would have been told, maybe if only would have been a, there would have been a memo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today is that memo. This is from Ephesians chapter 6, uh, the whole armor of God. 6.10, finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Put on here it is, the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. So we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers and authorities, against the cosmic power over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. So here's back to the armor thing here, verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and, pay attention to this, having done all to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened the belt of truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on readiness given by the gospel of peace, and in all circumstances take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints, and also for me, that my words may be given that words may be given to me in opening of my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel. All right, so the call is here to put on armor, and am I doing all? Verse 13, therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. So there I am sitting at Chili's, and I'm wondering, you know, have I done all, or have I done, you know, anything? Have I put on, have I taken up all these charges about the things that we're supposed to be doing Put on, take up, fasten on, put on, take up, take. There's all these uh, uh, charges for us after we become aware and after we start to apply this. And the reason being, so all these charges are done so that we can do the important thing, which is to stand, uh, stand and be strong. So the question is, you know, am I doing uh, anything? 
So let's say you're you're sitting there and you're you have no armor on as you're sitting there at Chili's. The first thing is to be aware, and secondly, you know, let's cry out, let's get in communication, let's start to put on armor, and then let's find some allies and find an uh, find an army with this alert. So I think the first thing is like uh, like whoops. Secondly, would be to cry out for help. Thirdly, would armor up, uh, and then find allies. So if you're a soldier. Uh, you know, in conclusion, if you're a soldier called to be uh, a soldier, number one is just this awareness like, wow, I'm sitting at Chili's. I did not. I did not realize this. The, the charge here is to armor up because you're in a battle and a battle is coming. And then the third thing is is the, the first thing is, is if you started to put on armor, you'd want to find allies so there might be one guy wearing armor at the gas station. There's two guys at the Walmart. But there's going to be hundreds of people, men and women, uh, at the church, maybe even thousands if you're in a, in, a, in a big church. So that's where the staging area is. That's where the strength of an army comes. So there's start with an awareness. Secondly, get armored up. And thirdly, get get, get an armor. Get an army, excuse me, and be ready to fight, be ready to wrestle. So with the right armor, with the right awareness, with the right allies, with the with the right arming, then to le- yesterday's lesson, this is standable. There's going to be onslaughts and there's going to be an enemy, but it's winnable. It's endurable. So today, uh, with regards to the memo, you did get the memo. It is here today. And the, the question is, have I done all or, you know, have I done anything? So let's be the guy or the gal that's sitting at Chili, and the guy comes in all armored up, and he looks over, and he looks at you, and he finds you all armored up with a helmet and a sword and a shield and the whole thing. And he re- comes over, and it says, brother, soldier, sister, ally. So the charge today, let's be ready. Let's be armored up. Thanks for listening.